What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Nvidia Corporation with the ticker symbol NVDA. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So it looks like Nvidia is also pulling back. The entire market is pulling back. Uh, just my opinion, I don't think this is the top. I think we will probably come back to retest these previous highs eventually, maybe in the next six months to a year, probably maybe even sooner. But I don't think this is the top and we're going to have like an 80% crash. Uh, nothing. I don't think as of right now, it's too early to tell. And that's a very low probability of occurring right now. I think what is more likely is that we will see more selling, maybe a bigger pullback. I don't think we can get our typical 10 to 20% pullbacks um, as of right now for all across the board. It looks like these stocks could have um, m not major sell offs, but like a median, me medium sell off. So that's what I, I think all the stocks are going to be capable of doing. And Nvidia is no different. I think we are going to continue lower from here. We're already see seeing a lot of selling pressure coming in. And if we make a second leg down, where is price is going there's a high probability we're going to reach that 237 level we're almost there too and there's a gap over here that could be filled and that's right at the 231 level and also at the 231 level or the 230 level is a previous resistance zone that price is broke out of and still has not retested it for some type of support so there's a high probability nvidia is going to pull back all the way to the 230 level before seeing some type of bounce so that's my target for nvidia you can see that previously the bulls were trying to defend this 273 level you see there were a couple of bounces here and a bounce here and another bounce here but then there was a red bar and then prices broke below the support came back up closed bullish and then we had weak follow through and then eventually the sellers came in and are starting to reverse the market to stop out all the people who went long so sellers are in control of the market and i think they're gonna head the, obviously push the market down lower it, there is this channel working lower i don't think it fits that great but it is something to look at so the target or the price is pretty close to the to the support size so maybe once we reach this measured move at the 237 level 236 level we could see a little correction up but i think this market will continue to drop further lower than this measured move that i have in place let me show you guys another channel right here the channel working up this one also is not fitting the that great but it does work you can see this uptrend channel right here and it's also right at the measured move the support side since price action was at the upper side normally when prices are at the upper side we go to the lower side and it's like pretty much exactly right where prices are so we could see some type of bounce here but i think they might just push through it and reach that measure move and eventually even the 230 level so that's what i think nvidia is capable of doing i think it's pretty obvious to say where the market is headed now i think a lot of stocks are just going to continue lower how much lower I gave you guys a target and where we could see some potential bounces but if we don't get that bounce at these levels then we can continue much lower but i don't think this is the top or that 340 350 level i don't think that's the top for nvidia i think we'll probably come back and retest it maybe within this year if prices reverse so let's go and wrap this up on the weekly chart so here's the weekly chart from nvidia and you can see that price was far away from the ema since pretty much 2020 this was the furthest price action got away from the ema so that's we're seeing a big pullback ema ema is acts acts as a magnet and prices don't like being far away from it a while and it was far away from it for a while and it was extended so starting to see this pullback which is expected but previously before we got bounces from the ema and if price action did get below it, it looks like the next week brought it up, back above it. 
so we are going back below the ema so if next week isn't bullish and we don't get that reversal then we're probably going to continue lower to that 230 level like i addressed so that's what i have for nvidia and like i said before i think this is a medium correction so we really are past the smaller correction of about 20 percent because we are in 20 30 percent territory and i don't think this is going to be a full-on crash 80 to 90 percent i think we'll probably get a 50 percent or well let's see my 230 target is right at the 35 percent so maybe we can hit the 40 percent which is at the 200 level but that's a maybe you see that previously back in 2018 where there was a bull market nvidia did crash a good amount so maybe the semiconductor companies and tech stocks will crash more than the other companies or i mean excuse me not crash but like sell off you can see that this sell off was from the highs to the lows was a 56 percent drop before continuing the uptrend so i think people need to prepare for a bigger drop because it looks like the charts and the market are capable of producing that so that's all i have for nvidia so look out for that 237 target to be hit very soon and i think price action will continue lower to reach that what yeah 226 target i had so the 230 target so those two are my targets in the short term short to maybe a month or so and then from there we need to reevaluate what the chart and price action wants to do does it want to want to go does it want to go up does it want to go down if it goes down then we give you guys an update if it goes up then we're probably just going to continue to trend higher and higher uh to the previous all-time high but as of right now you guys know my targets thank you for stopping by and checking out my video make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised at what you can learn leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed also, share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time, and bye.